Hello, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. This is Scott. As you know, if you've been uh, on my channel, you know I'm on a journey to learn the craft of what I call real magic. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about manifesting, which is uh, the modern term for a big portion of magic, and how Pam Grout has taken that next step that I really love, actually. And I'll talk a little bit about why. So today I'll highlight and perform her first principle, the do to bides principle. And as the days go by, I'm going to do all her principles in the E2 book, and then I'll move forward with her second book as well. And for clarity, I'm taking this journey pretty seriously, guys. And so far, I've done many things, and here's just a couple of the things that I've done. And I tell you this so you can start doing some of it yourself because I'm asking you to come along with me. I've taken Quasi Johir's program called Reality Creator. And I've read several books like Breaking the Habit of Being Bad, uh, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Joe Dispenza, The Power of Focus, Think and Grow Rich, and a host of others. My problem is that I love to read, but I barely have ever done the work of these books. So that stops now because I'm serious about uh, getting back into magic, and I'll explain that later some other video. Um, and you each are my witness today and here out. So hold me accountable, and I hope you join this journey with me. I've also bought an infrared sauna, and will order a cold plunge shortly. And I have cleaned up my diet and became a raw vegan to clear my mind, my body, and to detox everything out. There's been a few other things that I do as well, deep breathing and a few other things, but I don't do it consistently. But I will start that pretty soon. Now I take this next step towards the journey of becoming a bona fide magician or magic user. Call me crazy if you like, but the world is starting to finally open to the possibility that magic exists. See my previous videos about how the CIA and the Army have used people for magic, uh, and how the world now calls things manifesting, telepathy, telepaths, a bunch of other things. So, um, But for the moment, I'm going to focus on manifesting. I'm going to document my journey. Uh, for you so you can follow along and perhaps one day achieve the same results that I'm looking for. What am I looking for? I'm looking for being able to manifest whatever I want, being able to possibly levitate, read minds, do precognition, and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so let's get to it. So Pam Grout presumes, and I say correctly, that there is an energy field that surrounds us. It's all around us and it's around everything. And we should be able to tap into that energy and call forth whatever our heart desires. Now, once again, I like her approach because if you have listened to most manifesting gurus, they'll tell you some basics of manifesting, like the movie uh, did. And what I'll tell you is that they tell you to visualize and believe and emote. And what I mean by emote is put emotion into it. And that things will come forth. That's fine and it may work for some and it may work a little, but I believe there's more to it. And I believe um, Pam has touched on what I believe. Uh, and it's just a small portion of it because practicing magic is a big fish to fry. So the approach is simple. You say the following to the world, to the universe, and presume that you are a co-creator and that the universe hears you and provides in this presumption you can believe whatever God you want. All right? So the universe is everywhere. God is everywhere, and you can believe in whatever God you want to make this happen. Because what we're doing is we're calling on the power of yours to be a co-creator with that God, with the source of the unified field. So here it is. I'll say it out loud as my opening salvo to call forth on the magic. And oh, by the way, my words I'm using um, are slightly different. My words 
similar to what she has put in her documents, okay? But the point is the same. So, here it goes. Hey, I'm here, and so are you, but you're hiding. So your hiding must stop, because I want you in my life as I am in yours. I'm giving you 48 hours to make your presence known, and I want a clear sign that cannot be written off as a coincidence. Show me in a big way that you are here with me and working with me and for me as I am here with you and working with you. That's it, guys. That's my opening salvo to believe that the universe is working with me and I work with the universe. So again, I give it 48 hours uh, to do something big. Uh, now, you must believe, I must believe. Search through your day, through your life, through your business, through your bank account, whatever it is. But never guess. It is coming. Believe and look for the evidence, guys. If nothing manifests in the time you're looking for, the 48 hours that we gave it, that's okay. It will come. You don't have to keep saying it and keep saying it. You can if you like. It doesn't hurt anything. But just believe. Just believe that it's there. So in this time, guys, keep living. Keep building yourself. Keep your dream building. Uh, keep your business building along the way because, again, you are the co-creator in both spirit and physical. So that's my announcement to the universe and to my spirit. Do your announcement and tell me your update. I will tell you mine in 48 hours. I'll see if anything came. Peace, guys.